what's up guys so welcome back to another video so we have completed almost uh, most of the front end and as well we display the data using the cedars and uh, it's very simpler way all you can all, all you see on the, in the last video right so we created a search for it which we later on we can search it by name and and now the the this video is about how we can paginate the data right so if, if I just want to click on this number two, so it shows us the page equal to two, but the problem we are facing is that it refreshes the page and after refreshing the page, it uh, puts us into the another page, which is two and so on after. So we have about 30 amount of data. So on base of that, we have a pagination, which is uh, which ends on number five but we need to um, do this dynamically using Ajax and jQuery and how, how we want to do it. So let's jump into the code first. So already I have opened up my previous code and let's continue what uh, from where we have uh, ended our last work, right? So all I need to do is to go into my resources views and uh, then after that, I just need to go to my home.blade.php. Okay, so everything that you see on home.blade.php and we return into the controller if i go to my controller which is app http controllers home controller and we return the home right so that's what we all do and display the users from the users model all right but this time I, i'm i'm going to show you that the reason why you uh, you already might see that but just want to repeat that again I created the folder with the name of pages and the reason why I created that I need to display that data and loads the data only which is inside the user underscore data and, and the reason why I'm doing is that if I want to show results dynamically using Ajax so I want to return this view like if I just click on this uh, on on this link and that should display me the view, right? So the view of the page. So I need to view uh, this page using Ajax and how I wanna do it. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is, uh, it's very simple. So first you need to do is to go to the home.blade.php and uh, grab everything despite of this, um, just want to see, yeah, it's fine um just put your content right there and just make this blank and put that into the pay, user underscore data so basically i want to load this page right so the reason why i created a separate file because we need to view the cards on based of the on on using ajax so i i just created that separate file for it and next i'm going to do here what I do is I want to extend the layout. I already have my section for the content and now I'm going to include the, I want to include here the search that we have. I believe I created a search inside my includes. So I go to my includes and you see it's not actually, it's a filter and yeah, I just, I just named that search. That's fine, right? And now we also have the filter, which we haven't shown so far, I believe. Yeah, so we don't need that stuff now. And now I need to do here is I created a div, just create a div and uh, with the name of user underscore data. So I created a user underscore data div. And inside here, I'm gonna include that same page where I have add up my card for all the listings. So I want to give that to be pages. It's inside the pages folder and the name of the file, which is user underscore data. All right. And I also have, uh, if I go to my master file, which is the main file, I added up that stack scripts. So I need to include uh, the scripts down there. So just using the push uh, helper function, I add up here a script. So whatever you have here in your masters, you need to put that same thing into the uh, into the push, right? So I need to also I also need to end the push here. Okay, so I'm gonna create a jQuery method. So 
for that i need to first put my script tags in so i put my script tags in and dollar document dot ready function all right so what does it do is that whenever we load the page it will load up the content right so for instance i just put up here one two three for the alert so it looks that everything works well so it's loading up the script from the master file all right okay so i remove that so I, I i don't need any stuff to add like i don't need to bring the jquery separately in for each file it's good to add up the script so whatever it's including using the layouts it will fetch and we can add up the uh, the script as separately for this only for this file which it will load and next if i want to go to this pagination link and inspect it and uh, there you see down here that we have our class with the pagination and plus we have the anchor tag which is the page dash link right so what i'm going to do here is to um let's put up the document here so dollar document dot on click so i want an even for an on click like whenever i click on the class for the pagination and let's make this a better one to for the a for the anchor and created a function and pass up the event here and uh, next i'm going to do is to prevent default basically it's um, it's used to stop your form for submission but in our case we want to stop until the event not um, loaded so here I'm going to use here event dot prevent default okay so inside event dot prevent default I'm gonna create a page uh, a variable and uh, dollar this so this pertains to anything that we do so dollar this dot i want to get the link so i'm using attribute function here if you guys are not sure about that you can watch my video of my jquery i have even separate jquery functions like attribute value and much more you can watch it i also i also give that link in my description right i want to split that right so i want to split the page equal to so that brings us separately and one what it whole means right so just want to show you that if i just alert this out and uh, refresh this and click on any of the page you see that it shows me the link page number which is four right now okay and and the reason why i give this index one if i just give this zero and now you see what does it do so if i just refresh that and you see that basically uh, this is the this whole base URL is the index zero and whatever after question mark which is the parameter which we needed page equal to two and that's what we split out so that reason why we bring this one here is just because of that reason because we need the parameter page all right I hope you guys got this right okay so next I'm gonna do is to create a function and that should create it outside the document so I create the function and uh, the function name get more users because we need more users to load up while we click on right so I created an Ajax here dollar dot Ajax so and if you ever use Ajax you know we have normally used the request of the um, the method request so which is the get request and now we need to add up the URL for this so I add up here oh my oops sorry for that it should be URL in lowercase so I bring the routes right and routes are the better way to 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 link through the other pages or files so what actually it means so whatever I type here so let's suppose I, I bring this user dot and I just want to bring these double quotes here same for the get progress and uh, so I'm gonna give the route name to be user dot get dash more dash users and I want to success the function data 
uh, and uh, I need to pass up the page here so basically whatever we get from this page we need to pass it to this function and how we want to pass this it's very simple so I need to only call this function and pass here the page all right so this this page is uh, the whatever the page number we have it pass it to the function and uh, next we have our what we have our is we have the URL we have the success function and the ID that I gave here to load up the this page so it's user underscore data I, I, I hope you guys understand what actually it means so what we are doing is that we want to load this page using Ajax so that's why I give this separate file which I already talked about that right and we need to show up on the HTML so I just simply pass here dot HTML data all right I think so this makes sense right and next I'm going to do is to go to my home controller which actually is here right so what I'm gonna do is to create a function which is with the name of get more user just like we passed the route there so we also need to get the function but before creating this function I'm gonna create the route here so for the routes I need to go to web dot PHP and here I'm going to do is to create the function and then and the URL which we have the name the URL which is which I believe we passed the route into the yeah this should be users dot get dash more users so I passed with up the get request and let's give it the name of the controller which is home controller at the rate and the name of the function that we have is get more users right and I passed up here the name route which is actually the route that we passed so there you see that we have to give this users dot get dash more users okay so um, hmm actually there's no need of that because we already passed up the route so that's fine okay so go back to the home controller and inside home controller I'm gonna create a request so we have a request for the pages so dollar request and inside the request I, I give it the condition that if there is a request for the Ajax right so that should loads up this function yeah that's fine okay so I have to create a variable users and inside user I want to um, get the get users function which we already have inside our model so I copied that and put up here and call this get users and even though we don't need that we don't need that okay so what I'm gonna do make this uh, simpler uh, just simply return view the page so return view and the name of the file which is pages dot user underscore data and we want to compact no we don't need to compact anything now and just simply render it okay let's have a look that it works or not so if I go back and refresh this and open up the console and let's move to the page 2 and it shows up an error for it says undefined variable users in user underscore data Oh yeah, so the reason why I just bring this in because we need to copy that up and now we have our different location. So I'm going to do is to bring this in and now I just want to compact this. So compact and uh, passed up here dollar users. All right. So if I go back and refresh this and let's move to the page two 
still shows up an error it's, it says undefined variable users hmm. so so we return the view we pass the compact but it should be single quotes okay uh, I don't know why I keep doing this but that's fine okay so let's do this and it's working right just want to check this out and you see it's actually returning the view whatever we have here right so this is all working very nice so just close this out and you see let's do a trick here that I just want to change the database name right of a single user so we could able to understand so I go to my filter app so that should be this users and let's change the first name to be AB nation right so do that and refresh this okay now I have the AB nation on the first name now if I click on the second one yeah it's not working actually so just want to inspect this again and see why it's not showing up the actually it's not click if I just try to click on this it's one it's not working so um, actually we need to see if I just refresh my page again and you see it's not moving to the page too so let's go back to the home dot blade and yeah, there is a mistake. I just need to end the section right there, right? I don't need to end here after the script. So already we have the scripts added up here. Okay, now I need to go back to what we have here. We have the type of the request to be get and URL is this. Okay, so I already console the data. It's showing up as the uh, everything. But yeah, actually I forget to bring here the page right so I need to concatenate that and and the reason why I've been doing it is that because we have a page number right you see whenever we click on we have some specific so I just want to give it whatever the page we get all right so that, that means that we have the route but whenever we click it it just shows us the parameter of page and whatever the page it, it should be it will load the URL and get the data right so if I go back and refresh this and make the zoom so you guys can see so right now I have a name here AB nation so if I go to page number two you see that now the 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 name has been changed so you can you can change the names on based off your uh, requirement right so that's how you can do your pagination using Ajax so so that's really interesting guys so I hope you will learn a, a lot of great stuff on from this video you will find this these type of great videos very hardly so they are the great channels that I always prefer with you guys Traversary Media is the amazing channel on YouTube right so I learn a lot of stuff from there I recommend you go to Code Ninja it's a fabulous so other they are great YouTube con content creators so that's what I personally know that I've learned a lot from there so I request you to follow up them as well and follow me as well. So let's uh, see you guys for the, for the next part of this video where we will do some search.